James Braga here from DragonBlogger.com. Today I have a little uh, software walkthrough from the Nighthawk X4S by Netgear. This is their new one. This is their model R7800. Now, if you pull up their web page, it's just www.netgear.com. You find your model number, the AC2600 Nighthawk X4S. You go over here and scroll down. The over here is features, you know, tech specs. But if you click the one that says Genie App, and you download it for the Genie App, save file, open it up, and run it. You just click accept terms. I mean, most people read them. I'm not going to read it because I've already got the software on my other computer. You click where you want your files to go and then click install. Which, you know, it just takes a few seconds as you can see. It doesn't take very long to install. Click next and then finish and run that gear. As you can see, we're, it shows us up and running. Status is good. There is no Wi-Fi connection because I haven't, you know, set all that up yet. You know, it, it's pretty simple. If you click, you know, Map Network, it shows you the Western my my cloud, my server, you know, and so stuff like that. Router settings, you know, username and password. You know, we we will change that, so it's not a big deal. You guys can see it's it's just the general username and password. And like I showed you, the network uh, mapping. There's parental controls. You can do some parental controls if you want. It says check router firmware, so that means there is um, some updated firmware that needs to be done but we will get to that in a few network support you know your fax your tools you know trace route dns lookup stuff like that support if you need downloads or forms or contacts you know airprint to use airprint like it says to use airprint install the apple itunes for airprint and all that i won't be using that because it's not really a big deal for mine my media so I can see all my Western Digital stuff. I can uh, connect up a USB drive so I can transfer stuff over. You know, some some stuff like that. I will probably do some transfers and show um, that in a different video or in the written review. Now routing, rout, router settings you just you, know, you have to go in I guess I have to go on their actual website and finish all that stuff. You know, what connecting Wi Fi is, all that. Internet connections. We can test our speed. It is now testing it. It's just probably different than what you're seeing there. So, now we'll close that. We'll pull this up. We'll go over here and we will go here. Now we're going to go into the actual more settings. As you can see, it says there is a new firmware upgrade available. Click here to get it. We will click that and wait for it to load so I can show you guys to update it. Click check again. Click down here. Click yes. Now it's downloading and installing new firmware. Like I said, it'll take up to three minutes. I won't bore you with that. 
I will, uh, well, it may not even take three minutes. So if it does, I, I will skip through part of this video for you guys. I'll fast forward it so you guys don't have to watch it all. Okay, now that it's been updated, you can go over here to your wireless settings. Now, it's automatically got a preset, you know, password and uh, username. And as you can see, here's the username and the password. I will be changing all this, so I don't really care if you guys see this. It's going to be completely different. Not a big deal. But you also, this is for your 2.4 gigahertz range, so you have this and your password. Now you have your 5 gigahertz range and you have another pass, you know, username and password. You can change those. And those are what you use to log in. Now I'm going to use, you know, you can connect your phone up, you connect all your Wi Fi, wireless adapters, anything. Easily to, to change it, you just back out and do it. I ain't going to apply that yet because I will be changing it off screen so you guys don't see my new stuff. You know, like attached devices, you can go through and see what's attached. I mean, it's pretty much just, you know, Ethernet, cables, desktops, you know, quality of service. You can do a quality of service so you can make one of your, uh, one of your devices in your house have, uh, you know, quality of service when other pieces are on. That, which mainly means that your device will take over priority over the line compared to everybody else's. You know, parental controls, if you want to do parental controls, they pop this up and they talk about parental controls. You have to enable parental controls and settings. You know, they, they have a web page on it and talks about it a little more in depth. I won't use parental controls because I trust my kid and we pretty much watch her stuff anyways. You know, the ready share, you know, basic, ready cloud, always ready to share. You know, some, some general stuff like that. Guest network, I won't be using guest network. Uh, you mean my living apartment complex they don't need to be on my internet you know network your download beta you can download the beta software pretty much like I said it's just simple process you you can change your you know your general you know passwords and everything like that so thank you for watching how how the network genie works now I will probably be doing another video show you guys how you know file transfers work and all that it's pretty much pretty simple stuff. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with this stuff. Actually, first, let me show you how to how to pull up your, your uh, devices so you can see the files that are connected through it. You pull up your Netgear Genie. You go to My Media. As you can see, I have Western Digital Cloud, my server, and I have a USB drive stuck in. If you refresh it, you know, if you have other devices, it'll pop up. First, let's pull up the USB device. As you can see, it says browse folders, music, pictures, video. We're going to pull up pictures. We're going to pull up folders. You know, as you can see, all James folders, pictures, Rachel's computer folders, and stuff like that. That's that's on the flash drive. Now, if we close that back out, we go to the Western Digital, you know, we can go to videos. We can go to folders, shared videos, you know. My movies, my whole, my server's got all my movies from my, uh, from my closet on the server for now, so I can watch my movies without having to switch discs. But you can see it through this. You can transfer it. I will be doing a written part of uh, showing you, you know, showing you the transfer speeds through the USB and all that. That'll be in the written review. But I uh, thank you for checking out my Netgear software walkthrough for the Netgear Nighthawk X4S model number 7800 disclaimer this product was provided to the author to do a review all opinions are 100 percent authors and authors alone for more information visit bit.ly slash db disclose to have your product or brand showcased on dragon blogger visit bit.ly slash review my product thank you for watching